In a significant development of more relief here that has come in for home buyers, one that was being challenged by the builders' lobby. The Bombay High Court today has upheld the validity, the constitutional validity of the Real Estate Regulatory Act, the RERA Act, which was passed by Parliament earlier. But it's with a twist. Previously, the builders had challenged its constitutional validity on various grounds. Today, the Bombay High Court has dismissed a host of these petitions but allowed two pleas in favor of the builders which still comes in with a catch one being to grant extension of time though only in exceptional cases and the second to strike down a provision that provided for appointment of bureaucrats as members of an appellate tribunal the high court reiterated that majority of the tribunal members should be judges or judicial officers this is the first time a high court uh, across the country of uh, across the country has given out a verdict or a hearing uh, for specifically the rera issue which has been uh, a issue with uh, which ha which is a central act and the supreme court in the month of september had gone on record and stated that it will not hear individual cases from states and it will now transfer uh, to 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 the bombay high court and ask them to actually first hear out the grievances and the petitions that were filed a series of petitions that were filed by uh, these developers in mumbai in nagpur and the other inter interveners as well and today the bombay high court has categorically stated that it has uphold the constitutional value of rera which came into being on 1st of may and since then and there are about 13000 projects that have already uh, come into being and they have been registered with rera and this has come as a huge relief for home buyers who have been suffering on account of delayed projects stopped projects from many months now and even years now and uh, uh, this will certainly be a step ahead for people who are stuck who have invested uh, lakhs and lakhs of rupees and a lifetime of their investment into these projects which are at standstill and uh, the one thing that the court certainly mentioned is that uh, certainly there are two things that have been tweaked Uh, in this uh, order that uh, they will be given an extension in case of uh, a case that is liable uh, beyond a year's time and also a special uh, the, the the members of the tribunal should be judges and uh, and the other law makers but at the same time they stated that the home buyer is liable to ask for interest as well as compensation in case of a delay which clearly comes as a huge relief for home buyers who are stuck nowhere they have to live on rents they have to uh, do their own management of flats if they do not have a place to stay